Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Your queen is back and she's looking popping. Today I'm sharing with you how I lost 66, it's not even 66, it's 68 pounds of weight without no exercise. Every time I say my weight in pounds, my friend reminds me like this is not America. So I lost 31 kgs of weight without exercise and I'm going to share that with you. I get this question a lot. How? So today I'm finally answering that question for you guys. I can I feel like my ans my accent is different today. Is it maybe because I look too cute? But without wasting any more time, if you are new here, please check out my content. And if you like it, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. And if you are a tiny subscriber, well, thank you so much, Queen. Thank you so much, King, for joining me today. I'm sharing with you my weight loss journey and how it started and how I started and made it easy for me to lose that amount of weight without no exercise and no hustle whatsoever. <laughs> So my weight loss started last year. It was the 23rd of May, 2019. I woke up in the morning. I was wearing my gown, looking like an auntie or whatever. I looked in the mirror and I, can, I cannot unsee what I had seen. I couldn't unsee it. I just couldn't unsee it, guys. I saw an old lady who was 27 years old weighing 275 pounds weighing 124 kgs you guys a 27 year old i can never remind i will never forget that day i woke up in the morning i looked in the mirror i couldn't unsee i looked and then i looked the other way and then i looked back and i'll try to put like a picture here of like the image that i saw when i looked in the mirror so from that day on, I decided to change my life. I decided to take control of my health because during that month, I was feeling a lot of pain. I was feeling black back inflammation, a knee inflammation. I remember being sick for the whole week. I couldn't walk. My back was giving me like, whoa, my back was in so much pain. I could not lift my legs up and walk. I remember getting off the bus on my way back uh, from work <clears throat> and as soon as I got, got off the bus, I started crying and I came crying like this until I got uh, into the house and I threw myself on bed. I was crying because I was in so much pain. The pain was excruciating, you guys. Like I'm telling you, the pain was too much. I even went to the doctor. I had run like x-rays to see if i broke my back and my back was fine on the x-ray i was just fat <laughs> so i decided to take control of my health of my life i'm a very young woman i'm beautiful i have like a long way ahead of me i needed to get healthy in order to live my life to the full look at me look at me what do you see don't you see a queen so I remember going on Facebook. I remember back in the days, like 10 years ago, I did lose like 10 kg by eating low carb, but I was not really doing keto. I was not doing venting. I was just doing low carb and a bit of starvation. So I was like, okay, there has to be something that is related to a low carb diet that I can do. Like I did 10 years ago and I lost 10 kgs. There has to be something that I can do. So I went on Facebook. I searched. I remember a friend of mine reminded me that this thing could be called benting. So in South Africa, we call keto benting. So I went on Facebook. Um, I found two groups. The benting seven-day meal plan. My eyelash is like poking me right now. <laughs> Whew. So I went on Facebook. I found two groups. The benting seven-day meal plans. Please join the group. The group is very helpful. If you use it to your advantage, it will work for you. So I found two groups. I joined both of them. I remember it was like <clears throat> the 23rd of May, 2019. That is like my, the birth of me. The birth of Keto Diva. So I cannot forget the date. Save the date, honey. Save the date. So I joined the group. I remember that first week I spent day and night researching and reading that the group gives you everything it's like a, a book it's like a big book it gives you everything that you need to know 
I was not reading people's posts in that group. I was not there checking people. I went into the section that, that is called announcements. They have everything in there. I read each and everything. And I was like, okay. So benting is like a, a low carb diet, a high fat diet that you can do. And I see people are losing weight on this thing. Let me, let me try it. But I was really depressed because I am addicted to bread, you guys. I'm addicted to gluten. So I, I remember spending, I slept at 3 a.m. that day, reading that um, beginner's guide that tells you what is benting, what is um, what you need to do, what you don't need to do, what you need to eat, and all of that. I, your queen, spent all night reading that thing. And the next morning, I'm like, okay, I get an idea. Let me start eating. So immediately, I did not take it slow because I was in a hurry. I was in a hurry. I needed to lose that weight. So I immediately decided there and then that I was going to cut out the carbs. That is only the only thing I knew at that point was that I need to stop eating the carbs and I need to stop eating the sugar. <clears throat> I immediately cut out the carbs. I remember I didn't even have like the keto grocery. I didn't even know what to eat or where to go. I remember eating a salad and chicken. That is all I had. I didn't even know that you you'd need to use like different kind of spices. But throughout the week, it was like I had just enrolled in college and I was doing a degree in weight loss, which I think I have obtained beautifully with the distinctions, honey. So. I continued to eat vegetables and meat only. I cut out the carbs completely. I did not take it slow. I went rough in it. I went, I went like... Okay, that hurt. I went straight into it. I cut out the carbs. I cut out <laughs> the sugars. I did not know that there's something called the keto flu, the carb flu, the carb with the drawals. Okay, I did that for three days, <clears throat> and then the keto flu kicked in. I remember being at work. I work standing all day. I remember being at work. I would get hot flushes. I'd get hot for like two minutes. It happened in like intervals. I'd get hot, sweat a little bit, feel dizzy, and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm dying. I can't tell people that um, I'm on this new diet. I'm not eating bread. I'm not eating pop. They're going to tell me to start eating because here I look sick. I'm about to die. I did really feel like I'm about to die. But I kept quiet. I'm like, no, I can't tell people that I, I feel sick. Um, I feel dizzy. I feel like I'm about to fall. I'm, I'm getting hot flashes. I'm sweating. Every time it happens, I'll just leave whatever I'm doing because I work with like knives and stuff. I'll just leave whatever I'm doing and just stand still. I didn't even know that you have to take like electrolyte. Guys, I had no clue. I was just doing this thing because I was so desperate to lose weight. I, because what I had seen in the mirror, <laughs> I could not unsee. So I had to do something. I remember I pulled through. I did go to my manager and told her that Okay, I've just embarked on a new journey. It's called benting. It's a low-carb, high-fat uh, lifestyle. <clears throat> uh, I want to lose weight, and I feel very sick today. Uh, even yesterday, I feel very weak. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! You know, every time I remember the things people told me when I started my weight loss journey, I'm just like, B, B look at your life, and I see your life. So she's like... And she's whispering, she's like, do you know that a high fat lifestyle is very dangerous? It could, it could damage your liver. And I'm like, okay. And then I left. I did not want to hear anyone saying anything to me. I did not want to hear about it. Like I, my, my mind was made up. My head was set. I was doing this. I did it. I continued not to take sugar and carbs and reading, uh, and doing my weight loss course, my degree. And then nine days later, that is when things took a turn. Like, <laughs> praise the Lord, praise the kid a lot. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my way. Nine days later, I had not had carbs, I had not had sugar, 
I don't know about intermittent fasting at this point. Like, I'm taking everything slow in terms of, like, reading and learning and all of that, which you need to do yourself. Nine days later, I'm like, oh, my God, like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't feel any difference. I'm just doing this. I don't have a scale. Um, I had not taken any before and after picture. <clears throat> I went to YouTube uh, and I, I saw that a lot of people say you must take, like, before and after pictures. So I'm like, let me test out this G, my size 46 G, the only size 46 I've ever bought and I've ever worn. And that was the last, the first and the last size 46 that I was going to wear in my life. So I took that G and I'm like, but this G feels different. I remember taking a video, I watched a video, I'm like, guys, it's nine days and I see the difference. So I took my orange dress. I think a lot of you know the, the orange dress because... That orange dress made the, the girl, made your diva, like your keto diva. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. I post my meals there. I post my transformation pictures. I post each and everything. I post weight loss stuffies and intermittent fasting. Please follow me at Dini Keto Diva, Ketolicious AL. I decided to take all of my clothes. <clears throat> I took a lot of before pictures and I remember I was so sad. People always ask me like, why do you look so grumpy and so angry on your before pictures? I was not acting guys. I was really, really like, I, I was down. Like I was down, but I was not out. So I took a picture of this orange dress, which I bought like five years ago. And it was small when I bought it already. And then I took a picture with it. Two weeks later or, or a week later, I'll put pictures right here. I think they have days of when uh, the duration and stuff. I noticed a different a difference on the dress and I was like, this is it. This, my darling, is it. This shit is working. This low carb, high fat shit is working. <laughs> that picture is the picture that took your girl by, by storm like... That picture made the parts to be done. Because then I was motivated that, okay, whatever I'm doing now is working. This keto thing is actually working. Cause look at this dress now and look at this dress a week or two later. <clears throat> so I was really motivated. Like I'd look at that picture all freaking day. I'd be in the bus looking at that picture like, damn, something is happening. I started feeling energetic. After two weeks, the cup flu went away. I was good. I was feeling lighter. I mean, my jeans were not so freaking tight anymore. I felt comfortable in my size 40, 44 jeans, which I'll put here. This was the last time I felt these jeans were about to pop on me, were about to just explode. <clears throat> the jeans were feeling like I was feeling good. I was, I think I was in ketosis, which I didn't know then. I was feeling very great. I was really motivated. I started posting my uh, those little transformation pictures on social media. <laughs> people, people, people will come for you. People will try to crush you. Why are you bitter? Pray for yourself and heal. Don't be bitter when other people are transforming and you are having a hard time. Just learn from them. Don't be bitter. Why are you bitter? People are like, oh, we don't see any difference. You're just wasting our time. At work, they told me, nah, you get out. Just <laughs> get over yourself. Like... You are a big, beautiful woman. You are an African woman. Just accept yourself the way you are. I don't, I don't see any difference. Hello, me, Maria. I remember you telling me, like, Dini, only going to get three times better. I know you're going to watch this, honey. But um, those kind of comments were really, like, pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. They were pissing me off. At some point, I was doing it out of anger. Like, these people are just are not seeing what I see. I see what I see, and these people are not seeing it, and it's frustrating me. They keep telling me that I'm wasting my time. Two months later, I decided to buy a scale. That is after I have just become an, a Facebook, Instagram sensation. The, 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 the weight loss transformation pictures were like popping. They, they were popping. And at this point, I know everything. I've changed the spices that I use, the oils. I know what to do. I've learned a lot about the bulletproof coffees. I've learned a lot about the benting, the keto. I have done it. Like, I've, I'm graduating at this point. Like, I have my degree at this point. <clears throat> and the, the, the change of lifestyle was exciting for me because 
I started keto at the time in my life where I was really depressed. I was losing passion. I was just not motivated about life. I was losing passion, like passion for food, my job. I was not like performing. I was just like, and keto came into my life. And now I had to learn these new ways of cooking. I had, I had no idea there's things called coconut flowers and almond flowers and bulletproof coffees and MCD oils. Like, what is that? Now I was learning these new things and they were so exciting to me. I was learning new ways of cooking your cabbage is bread, your cauliflower pizzas, your bulletproof coffee, your golden bulletproof. You're like, it was really exciting for me. I don't know. I don't understand people who say, I don't enjoy cooking. Oh, I just don't want to cook. Because on keto, you really have to cook. Like, you cannot eat out comfortably because you don't know what they used and all of that. So you have to cook your meals. I remember, like, I was so excited about the lifestyle. That was, That's why it was so easy for me to just fall into it and just comfortably enjoy the lifestyle because I was enjoying these new dishes that I, I even had to create myself. I was enjoying sharing these uh, creations on Instagram. I was enjoying uh, sharing my weight loss journey with people. And then people received like my weight loss journey so beautifully. People were inspired my, by me. People were inboxing me like, Sis, how, you, how are you doing this? Oh my God, how are you? I got so hyped and so excited like, to get like people's pictures sending me their pictures like, Sis, you did this. Like, you helped me through this. And that on its own was motivating me, was giving me more passion about this. Like, it kept me going even on days that I just didn't want to do it. I do it now for the people. Do it for the people, honey. I do it for you guys. Like, even on days just that I, I was just so tired, I was PMSing, I just wanted to have, like, a long-ass piece of garlic bread with a lot of butter on it. I would not do it because I wanted to just keep you guys motivated. And I was, I was loving seeing your transformations, too. And it was such an exciting time of my life. Like, yo, guys, I, I I I felt like I was ready to just tattoo keto on my skin. The way that thing was just working for me. My advice for you guys is that stop climbing on the scale. For the first two months of my weight loss, I did not climb on the scale. And I lost most of that 68 pounds, 31 kgs within the first five months. I'd lost all of the weight because I was 124. Uh, my goal weight was 95 kgs. But I went as low as 92 kgs because the weight was just melting on me. I remember I only started weighing myself like two months into the lifestyle. <clears throat> and the scale told me that I'm still fat. Meaning uh, the, the, the clothes were getting bigger but scale was not moving. I remember returning the scale to cleats and throwing a tantrum like, Lady, this scale is not working. I cannot be fed after losing two dress sizes. What, what are you talking about? Your scale is not working. I did not know this thing called whoosh effect. Whoosh effect is when, when you lose weight, when you burn fat, the cells that were carrying the fat, that were storing the fat, start filling up with water what we call like the water retention so whoosh effect is when those cells get tired like this person is not taking the carbohydrates anymore this person is not taking the sugar we've been holding on we've been holding on to this water now we need to let go and then the cells let go of the water that's why you be peeing a lot that is like the whoosh effect the next morning you wake up and you've lost like seven kgs overnight that is the water um Water retention, that is when the cells release the water from your body and that's when the scale start moving, okay? It is not always the fat that you see on the scale, it's everything. The scale weighs everything, water, fat, skin, bone, and everything. So don't drive yourself insane over the scale. So two months later, the I woke up one morning and I had the whoosh effect. I woke up and the scale was just like... And it never stopped. I was freaking losing weight each and every day. Sometimes even a few times a day, I just climb the scale and the weight will keep going down. Like, I felt like my life was the movie. 
I felt like my life was a movie, guys. Like, I felt like I was ready to get married to Keto. I still feel like I'm Keto's wife. <laughs> I've never, ever done something like this in my life. Something so exciting. It's so scientific. So, like, it's so exciting. I don't understand how you would not enjoy because i'm someone who loves learning and spending my time doing keto researches and reading a lot about it was really exciting for me because i felt like i'm learning a whole new life and it was really like popping for me so four months down the line i had already lost so much weight i think about 25 kgs and I was looking cute or whatever, and I was feeling myself. It was the greatest time of my life. Read your labels. Part of being a, a keto nation is that you, when people take things and put them in the cart, you don't do that. You stand there, you read the ingredients. I Before keto, I did not know what, what the heck dextrose, not dextrose, sucralose, whatever, whatever, lows, this artificial sweetness. I didn't know anything about them. But with keto, I had to read so much that I I know way too much. So dedicate yourself to reading the ingredients. No, what is what? Why y'all don't like reading? Read a lot and familiarize yourself with each and every ingredient that you need to eat on keto and that you don't need to eat on keto. Inform the people around you that I've just embarked on this new lifestyle and please respect me. Don't offer me cookies. Don't offer me fruit. Don't offer me this and that. Respect the lifestyle that I've chosen for myself. I'm doing this for my health and it's gonna, whether it's, it works or not, it's none of your business. Inform the people around you. Teach the people around you how you eat. I taught my colleagues how I eat until they got it. They finally just automatically uh, dish up different things for me. Um, I taught my mom what I eat and what I don't eat until they get used to it. Just teach people around you what you are doing. Inform them. Don't secretly just be drinking the bulletproof coffee and people are just looking at like, what's wrong with her adding butter in the coffee? Just inform people what you're doing because it makes it easier when people around you know what you're doing so that it, uh, they don't tempt you or offer you things that you you shouldn't be eating. So yeah, that is how I lost that 66 pounds, baby girl. So fasting becomes easier when you start with keto first because already you are in ketosis, you are not hungry. So I started fasting and when I started fasting, the weight loss became even like, whoa, crazy. I was losing more weight than the weight that I was losing just being on keto only. When I started incorporating fasting, I was losing like a hell of a lot of weight, like so fast, quicker than when I was just on keto. So I started incorporating fasting um, <clears throat> and doing it with keto at the same time. Like you guys, my weight loss journey has been the most exciting part of my life. You are a big, beautiful woman, but take care of your health. <clears throat> take care of your, uh, your well-being. Just, it's nice to live a healthy lifestyle, you guys. Do it for your health. And do it for your kids if you have. Do it for your mama. Do it for your pops. Like, do it for your family. Just take care of your health. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Turn on your post notifications. Like this video. Leave a comment down below. And thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Mwah.